What should I do with it? Put it in the tub. It's dead. It's it dead and you killed it. It had a thing in it. Oh wait, there's another fish. Okay, so there's something to do with this fish. Oh, oh, it, ch it changes dramatically when... Okay, so there's definitely something to do with this fishy fish. Oh crap. Oh god. Can I feed it the fish? That fish was here to save our lives. It was. Rest in peace, fish. That's it. Peephole. <gasps> There's the key. I want a key. How do I get that key? <gasps> Damn. Kill them you all. like that? Wait, that keeps spinning? What is that? Oh, that's controlling the light. to do. Do I stand in the spotlight? That painting keeps wiggling, but I don't know how to make it do something. Flash it. Use your dark light on it. No, I tried. Shoot a watermelon at it. Ooh, actually. Can I get that? Give me that melon. That might work. Not work. Bummer. Yeah, you go up on stage and double money ghost. We're gonna be rich again. Hell yeah. Come on, magical number of 80. Alright, we're safe. I need to set up a Luigi. Yeah. I'm ready for these puzzles. 
Oh, I missed completely. Oh, no, I didn't. Kuiji, get your ass back over there. Nailed it. What are those? Let's go get that key. Hell yeah. Wait a minute, it's a turlet. Another bathroom. Oh, there's a there's a Gooigi hole. <laughs> that bunny rabbit was full of money. Money bunny. It's in the turlet. Money. And rubber duckies. That's a fake wall. Well, of course there's bathrooms. This is supposed to be, like, a hotel floor, right? Yeah. Everything's down in this hole. A money fish. How do I... Oh! Uh... A money fish is dead. To die. Damn, we're a so, thumbs up as he. Yes, that's what I really want him to do. You fuckers. Oh, they, they all hit you. And they went downstairs. Oh. So the 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 survey put out for Pharaoh or the the Wizards of the Coast survey for Pharaohs is out. So you should put in your opinion about what they're doing. How do they send it? Oh, it's a link, and then you fill it out online. Oh, uh, I know sometimes they've emailed stuff like that, but there there's a, a link on the Magic subreddit. For it. I took it just now. Instead of helping me solve puzzles. I mean, I helped some. But Ooh, I money get, fish! I gave my opinion. On what are I your think. opinions on the new magic set? Balrog. Theros is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Resounding, uh, yeah, glowing, okay. glowing review. I just think in, in general, there are too many, like, premium products for me to give a shit about. I also am, like, Like, I'm burnt out, like, I want not. the stuff. Like I want, like I think a lot of it looks cool, and it would be nice to have. Oh, I already But it's just like so. No. Oh wait. Uh -oh. Luigi. Oh. oh. But it's so prohibitively oh. expensive. To even like. I'm I'm like super not the target audience for them, which makes everyone they announce make me go. Meh. Right. Oh no! It's a magic bunny. Well, it's got a key coming out of its ass. No, 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 no. Why is it like? Why is it like that? But also, like a lot of the shit they've been doing this last year for, like even just the story stuff. <laughs> like I sort <laughs> oh, that poor bunny. 
Do I have to now rip it asunder with Luigi? <laughs> Pass the bunny ass. Uh, shit. That is funny. You have to just shoot it? It doesn't really shoot, it just goes... Oh. Do I have to get it to run the Rube Goldberg machine that's going on here? Oh, there's a hole in that uh, book on the desk. I don't know if book it leads on... underneath, but it looks like a... Hmm. I mean, I know the story and Magic's also kind of taking a break because it just finished up a big to-do. Yeah, it, but I mean, like, the, back the, the way something. they're presenting it is they don't know what the fuck they're doing right now. Because for, like, one or two sets, they're like, okay, we're going to do story spotlight cards. And we're going to make a big deal out of it. And then they're like, no, that was a bad idea. Let's go do this thing. Okay, let's go do this other thing now. Let's go do... Oh, a... yeah. Whoa, that was sweet. I bounced that gem into my flesh body. I just want them to be more <clears throat> consistent with how they present the story. Because it's like, I'm at least mildly interested in it. But I don't want to have to, like, jump through all these hoops to find it. And the hoops keep changing. So yeah, it's like, product overload, bad. I just don't care about any of it. I just want to, like... Play a good game? I want to play tournaments and do those. But it's like, I like... I want people, I want them to do whatever they have to do to make people want to go to F&M. Yeah. Because we have like nine-man F&Ms that sucks ass. I don't know what the hell to do with this bunny. <laughs> in, case you were, in case you were wondering, I'm out of ideas. Uh, can Luigi walk up the weird ramp? No. Shove that bunny back in the, the cage? No. I wonder if it'll... It'll go. No. <laughs> Grab for it. Huh. Maybe just fart it onto the ramp? Like, let it go and then fart? Wow. Or, uh, kind like, can that. you blow the bunny around? No, it just kind of avoids me. Oh, thanks, you guys. Now what's up? Oh. 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 One has to. Oh, okay. One has to suck up the bunny ass, and the other one has to dark light it. I mean, yeah, I think. I guess that should have made sense because they showed the spirit balls possessing the thing. Yeah. But on the other hand, I can see the thing, so I was like, why would I dark light it? Oh well, I'm dumb. But key get. That's what matters. And we got a gem holder. Thanks, right Egad. Actually useful for once. Um, yeah, it would be nice if they could find a way to make the tournament scene fun enough to keep players coming. I think if Wizards could kill paper magic and just do arena i bet they would i mean the overhead cost would be virtually non-existent if they got rid of it because it's like... and if i don't have to like wake up at six in the morning to go to a tournament i can just grind arena until i qualify yeah and probably spend less money because 50 bucks gets me three boxes worth of product yeah which is like but way better than paper yeah i could probably actually build your deck that way and probably spend less than like normal. And it would eliminate the secondary market, which is something mm, Wizards that sort hates of... It's true, they hate that. Well, they, they hate having to, like, Ooh. skirt around... They hate having to skirt around that... the fact that their cards are worth something. Okay, so there's a physical mirror, like, in the center of the run. Got it. I mean, I would love to play more Paper Magic, but I think it's just 
the secondary market is so fucking expensive for even like useful cards to build a deck. Like I know they've been doing it this way long enough that changing it would be Yeah, that's the thing. Like it's almost too late. Cuz it's like there's a lot of other like there's a lot of other living there well, I mean I mean we've talked about this before that LCGs are a thing, living card games. Like Netrunner was a thing for a few years before Fantasy Flight decided to kill it because it wasn't making them enough money. But it was like, you buy an expansion, you get all of the cards in the expansion, and you get them in a quantity that's... Usable. ...deck playable. Whether or not you end up using the maximum number of copies or not. Because that's... I think the biggest thing that frustrates me because I play mainly Commander, and it's like there's a lot of cool cards that I would love to play, but oops, I would have to spend like fifty dollars or more on some cards. I mean, Commander is definitely nothing they're going to support as well as Arena. Oh sure, but I mean, you you get the sentiment though. It's like there's a lot of cool cards that would be super nice to play with. I'm sure they'll cram them into it. Commander precons eventually. I mean, I doubt we're ever going to see shit like land tax and. Is land tax actually that expensive anymore? I don't think it is. You might actually be able to get like a kind of beat land tax for like a relatively okay price. What the fuck? Whoa, cool. Oh, I was supposed to have known that there was a thing in the mirror, but I hit it by accident. Oops. By flailing. Cool. So I can get... a... copy of... land tax from Battle Bond for $47. Oh. That's like a near mint one. Get like a, get like a shitty one. Yeah, but that's, like, that's still... Playable and sleep for like 25 But... The things is that's still like I don't know. It's your hobby and you're gonna spend money on it, whatever it is. Yeah, but it would be nice. Also you only need one copy. I think that's the big difference for Commander. Like if you want to like a view suddenly today we're like, Damon, I wanna play paper standard. Yeah. Cool, you need four Hallowed Fountains, uh four Dream Trawlers, four Teferis, those are twenty bucks each, uh etc. etc. But I mean that, that's garbage. That's shitty. But you get your one land tax and you have your land tax forever. Right. That if you really had to, you could move between decks if you were, like, super lazy. Yeah, but, like, playing playing standard, yeah, that sucks. Having to spend, like, $300 or more to build a deck that's, that's only going to be viable for, like, a I year and a half. It. Oh, I'm so smart. I bet there's an invisible Gooigi hole. Oh, no, it's a switch. With a chest. Nice. And a money fish. Two money Holy fish! Shit. You're fucking dead, dude. I'm honestly greatly considering playing standard in arena only. And then doing paper for like eternal, eternal formats, formats like Pioneer or something. Yeah. Um because at least those are non-rotating formats. Right. But there's two big reasons that I think I'm not doing that for. The first is our local FNM would, like, not, not fire. Like, we're so close to, like, small attendance that it, like, wouldn't operate. Right. Uh, the other is if I do well in local FNM, uh -oh. because discounts, my prize is real good. I spend $5 to get, like, 20 in credit, yeah. which is... 40 and that's e-money for Damon, so it's like, woof, boy, these decks are paying for themselves. Right, but so I could also you, you just, have a stake in But it. I also could, like, grind a hard... I could pay my 50 bucks for, like, your triple box on a pre-release on Arena. Yeah. And have enough product to build a deck and grind standard and maybe qualify for right. for that. And, like, eh. 
Because going to paper tournaments sucks. Now that we're, I'm too old for this shit. I don't want to wake up at 6 o'clock to go drive an hour. On top of the fact that I can't really do two-day events now anyway. Right. Cause which is like all of the big ones. Yeah, I'd have to take off my time and a half day. It's like, that's yeah, not very good. So no two-day event is worth it. It's like, I don't want... Do I really want to wake up so I can drive to, like, Acton or whatever to play a Pioneer? Not really. No. When TJ's host stuff at the DCU, cool, I'll go to that. It's, I could walk there if I wanted to. Right. <laughs> this is pretty funny. So, yeah, so I, on one hand, I don't want to, like, kill our FNM. Because I'm not the only one who shows up, so it's like... Right. I mean, I guess, you know, I, I shouldn't do things based on other... Like, I, I, I shouldn't not do it because I don't want to feel bad by fucking up FNM. But... In terms of any kind of real competitive scene, it would be better for me to not do paper. Right. I just have a pretty good hustle going for employee discounts on store credit. Right. So I don't know, maybe when the next set comes out, maybe I'll make the switch. I might get a, uh, spend the 50 on, like, the 90 packs or whatever when I have my tax return. Yep. Because that's, like, a drop in the bucket to just be able to build my fucking deck. Oh, there's the money. Did I get every book yet? Did I destroy them all? Alright, I did it. Oh, one more. It's probably got something to do with that hat. Uh, oh, yeah, because one of those things is missing a hat. You are. Correct. Neat. Ghost. But there's also a door here. Yep. Where does this go? The drawing of a bird. Oops, it's gone now. Seance room, perhaps. Well, I know they definitely lost a ton of people with that whole Oko nonsense. I mean, people are always going to feel bad about bannings. Well, I mean, what before he was banned. I you mean, just him existing? Being yeah. A, like, a miserable fucking nightmare? Yeah. Yeah. Although, if you're playing Arena, banning's not so bad, because you get the wild cards back. Yeah. I loved it when my Once Upon a Times got banned, so I'm like, holy shit, that, thank you. That felt super good to get four fucking wild cards out of it that I spent on building a deck using Oko. Like immediately after Eldrain dropped. So yeah, I'm fine with bannings online because I get reimbursed. Yeah. Yeah, people always get salty when rapid bans happen because it just feels bad. Because they're like, rabble, rabble, I just spent. Well, it's either you just bought it or you don't know what you can safely buy now because, like, what if this next cool thing gets banned because people bitch about it online? Right. Are we going to fight them in the turlet? Oh no, I took our hat. <gasps> you can't have that. Your hat? Oh, thank you. You bitches can have your own hats. They're way bigger than mine. Yeah, like... I don't know. And I guess War of the Spark wasn't super well received. I thought War of the Spark was a mega success. We were sold out of that set. But that's like, I like four real sold out. That hadn't happened in... Oh. Like, a decade. I mean, it was probably the Moon Runes, Planeswalkers. Oh, yeah. Were, I mean, casual players are what ate it up. Because yeah. casual players love Planeswalkers. And so the gimmick just really, really worked on that one. Let's see. 
Interesting. So yeah, from from like a store sales perspective, it was fucking crazy. Yeah. Because I mean, it definitely encouraged enfranchised players. Because yeah, the super rare moon moon rune. You get your you get your thousand dollar Liana from the final yeah. Fantasy play, artist or play, whatever. Play, play the lottery, maybe you'll get a couple hundred dollars worth of a single piece of cardboard. Hmm. I mean, I still think, like, I still think of myself as a pretty casual player, but it's like, I just don't, I just don't like seeing Planeswalkers. I don't, I don't like... Why? Because they're such a pain in the ass to interact with, and most are, of the time... Are they anymore? Because they print so many spells that just also, like, feature or Planeswalker, like, it's just so, on, on so many more spells now. It's, it's like, just whatever. one of those things where it's like... They generate so much value if uh, they live. Except for in Theros, but we're all bad. <laughs> I mean, Ashok's pretty good. But I'm the only one playing that deck, so... Like, Ashok is fine, because that's like a curve topper. Yeah, it costs five mana. But it's like the, the... And the other two are just terrible, so it's like... Yeah, Kalex is bad. Kalex, I mean, yeah, Elspeth's like... Elspeth's actually better in turtle format, where you can, um... Reliably Use the escape, escape yeah. Her. So she's actually way better outside of standard, but in standard she's poop. And then Calyx is just—they didn't print enough, nearly enough enchantments for that to like be a thing. Have I not been to all these other? Oh no. Am I going nuts, or is it showing like two different floors? Like when we pass through. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Oh, right. cause now we're. Do, oh, did they teleport us to a different turlet? Yes. They they te you teleport. Oh. Okay, that's why I'm. The, the ball. Cause these are twisted. Cause now we're back near the start. Oh, this is this. Okay. Get the. Oh, do I have to? I mean, I fully acknowledge my, that my perspective on most like, Zalkers as a card type is definitely like old man yells at cloud levels of inane. Okay, I'm glad because it is. I'd rather have a bunch of walkers be good than bad ones though. Because in like multiple mythic slots, you're just down the shitter. And they're just unplayable. And it's like, oh. And they're like not even like bomb splashy commander bad mythics. They're just. Which is like fine, because then someone will enjoy it. Yeah. It's just like, what do you do with a K? Like, it's nothing. <laughs> you throw it in the trash can. Yeah. Wait, but the. Well, it just feels Thunder bad that they have to dedicate so many slots in a set to planeswalkers, because they're like. Well, these are our, like, flagship cards. Pe players identify with them. It's like, don't don't print them if they're not going to be, like, interesting and worthwhile. Hey, did all the gems I have to look it up? Oh, like, I guess I just have to go the long way around, because going through that door teleports us back to the first floor turret. I assume that's what I gotta do here. Okay, nope, the map is just fucked up now. Yep. It's all it's twisted. You, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like, like they're bound and determined to fill so many slots a set with walkers because, like, that's just... Well, our metric says that we need this many walkers, otherwise... I mean... They're powerful cards that drive sales, so they're not going anywhere. I, no, I'm, I'm well aware. But outside of War of the Spark, it's always the same amount. It's always like two to three, depending on how big the set is. Yeah. I mean, I actually like how they were in War of the Spark. Like, I would be fine with them being in other slots. I thought having them 
have passive effects was pretty interesting. Yeah. Because it made them like do something. And it's something like the ones with passive on. effects only had minus abilities. I think. Well, the ones at uncommon at rare and mythic still had pluses and minuses on top of passives. Right. But yeah, the lower rarity ones were only. Uh, Which I thought was cool. They just they were almost like weird sagas. In that sense, they just kind of stick around and like do the thing. 